One out of every 142 Americans is now actually in prison. So says a report from the Bureau of Justice Statistics. But as you'll see in Bernson's Corner, one Kentucky prisoner is tired of behaving badly, so he has turned his life around with paint. At the Davis County Correctional Center, most residents are just doing time. If they're lucky, they get chores like moving commissary supplies. And then there's Robert Penrose. He's an illustrated man who's illustrating the jail. Other inmates get in trouble for drawing on the walls, but the 25-year-old Penrose is sketching what will be a work of art. A mural of police cars. Mr. Penrose, he'd been uh, in trouble quite a few times for illegal tattooing here inside of our facility. We discovered his talents that way. I've been tattooing probably like the last 10 years of my life. And uh, I've, been, I've done probably three to four, five hundred tattoos in this jail. Penrose says he never thought he'd be given the job of painting the inside of a jail. He's been in trouble since the age of 12. Just about everything, for real, to, from drugs to, to robbery, burglary, uh, receiving stolen property, bail jumping charge, um, just this and that, you know. This is not exactly this and that, a replica of the new uniform sleeve patch for deputies. Lieutenant Bill Billings supervises Penrose with an eagle eye, like a Medici watching Michelangelo. Traditionally, the walls and jails are always kind of drab and just depressing. We wanted something to look at for the staff and the inmates. Penrose is pleased to be the artist in residence. Says it keeps his mind off being locked up. Anything that'll help me stay out of trouble and motivate me to do good, I'm, I'm down for it. I just got to stay away from the negativity. That's it. Six to radio, open 243. These days, Rob Penrose is smelling the fresh air of freedom because now he's come to the end of his jail sentence. Once Rob Penrose is released to the other side of this razor wire, he'll be a free man, of course. Problem is, his artwork isn't finished yet, but he's got a plan. I'm going to be released on house arrest today, and uh, I have voluntarily agreed to come back up here and help him out and just finish the paintings, uh, murals in the visiting room. I think it'd make it a little bit more comfortable if we put some cartoons out there on the walls or some type of scenery for the children. For instance? SpongeBob. Come to think of it, Michelangelo got in trouble with authority a few times himself, and he ended up painting walls and a ceiling in the Sistine Chapel. Yeah, I wouldn't say I'm Michelangelo, but I'm close to it. <laughs> From Owensboro, Kentucky, Barry Bernson, Fox 41 News. By the way, Rob Penrose says now that he's out of jail, he's going to go back to school to become a computer graphic artist, and then he plans to open up a tattoo parlor.